Well, what a pizza to the game, girl! Yay, I enthusiasm. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the first part of my new Let's Play of... Dimpleman 3 The Rise of Digital. I've been waiting to play this game, like, forever. But I wanted to do Metopia first because that one was more recent, <laughs> and I feel like everyone would have wanted something that was a bit more relevant and hit with the kids and all that. Wow, I sound so old saying that even though I'm in my 20s. <laughs> anyway, so I've been waiting to record this for a long time. I actually bought this game like two years ago off the eShop and I never booted it up. I did play the demo though to get a feel of what the game was like. So I kind of know how the first part goes and I'm probably going to play through what you can do in the demo in the first part. So without further ado, let's finally start this thing. I had to uh, I had to erase my save data from the demo. Um, I had to erase my save data from the demo because I had a different hero on there and stuff. But I saved all the QR codes of all the gentlemen I caught in the demo, so that's fine, good. All right. So with that awesome title screen. Looking down on a digital. Hmm, wonder why it's not Digitown. But <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we'll see in a minute. Let's go new game. Use your hero from the Dimpleman and Dimpleman 2. Yes. Just hero. It's basically the same exact hero. So I'll just I'll just say Dimpleman 2. But yeah, we're gonna be using West again. Yay! Start game with West, yes. The 3 ds and we can get from the surroundings. So this first part... Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. Just, you know... Yes. <coughs> okay. So right here I'm gonna zoom out. Just so you can see... I had to tilt the screen. In order to... Wherever Wes is. Wes, where'd you go? Buddy. I am moving it! Buddy. Buddy. Where are you? There you are, buddy. <laughs> now I can set it down. Oh, that's so strange. Hang on a second. Yeah, that, that's odd. Usually they have you catching them right away. Aww. Could be a good picture. <laughs> That's an adorable picture, by the way. Probably the best picture. Uh, I was trying to take a picture, but I couldn't take a picture of the picture. Oh dear. Okay. So that's normally not how you start the game. You usually start it by catching Dimpleman. But I'm gonna be right back and catch some people. Hopefully. He says there were no radio waves, but I'm pretty darn sure that's false. So Alright, I'm back. I wandered around my house a bit and I did catch some Dimpleman. This one I actually found in the demo, so it's pretty convenient. Me by your side, you'll have nothing to fear. Malachi, I will send you. I don't think I caught that one on purpose. So you can see me, eh? Quite impressive. Hugo. Not much, but I want you to have this. Ooh, an orange dandelion seed. And we fortunately had a healer nearby. That's good. Scared the heck out of me. Back attacks are cheating. <laughs> okay, Kevan. Kevin. Here's a useful one. Also, the bunny ears are adorable. Is this our destiny? Nah, probably not. <laughs> oh, it's a girl, Kendra. Sure. And I also found her in the demo. So we can frail. What do you intend to do with me? Uh. 
I intend to take you in and cuddle you, Daphne. That's what I intend to do. This is for you. I, this is for you. I don't... I don't just take all the time. I give too. Ooh, potion plus. That's good. Okay. Now we have allies. We can... But I'm gonna, like, switch things in. Okay. Let's see. Switch. Thinking for... I'm thinking for this dungeon, this party is actually good. Got Wes, Malachi, Hugo, and Kevin. I'll probably switch, uh, order around, though. <laughs> yeah, you can actually switch around the order of your party. Unfortunately, we'll have to leave Daphne behind because that dungeon... There's an enemy that she's weak to in there, so probably not. Kendra will probably use it at a later time. Um, but yeah, I think this is a suitable party for the first dungeon. Now let's take a little tour. Uh, we have the museum right away. Check your adventure records. Spear Shrine, call back Lost Nymphomen. Daphne? I love you. Oh! <laughs> yeah, sometimes when you talk to Nymphomen, they say, like, little phrases. And she said, I love you. Oh, that's so cute. That's adorable. Okay, where is Kendra? I'll talk to Kendra. Uh, that's Skulch's cave. I'll do that in a minute. Hi, Hi Kendra! Okay, this is the PC where we can read QR codes. That's uh, Kevin's house. You can tell by the antenna. <coughs> You're probably wondering what this is, even though there's no Denton house. Each gentleman is their own individual house this time. <laughs> Yeah, you can decorate their rooms like like uh, Animal Crossing style, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can have your party walk around in the hero's house. That's pretty fun. Um, yeah, we have the shop here. We also have uh, the lighthouse. Let's go in the lighthouse. There's something up here. Well, that's super important, but we got a teleporter. Also, you can see the interface is quite a bit different. As you can see with the text popping up when you got something. You got a free teleporter there. That's always welcome. Free items are awesome. Hello, lady. Welcome, welcome. This shop is going to venture by potions. Equipment recommended. Well, I don't think I have any money at the moment, but we can look at the shop. This house, daughter kidnapped me, heard, worried. Our daughter Crystal has been kidnapped. If you know anything at all, please contact us. I'm very kidnapped, Crystal now. But you know Crystal's been kidnapped by Crow, huh? Please take her. I killed myself, but I hurt my leg. So this is Crystal's mom, Mary. Oh, she's like an, she's an adorable Dempa woman, I guess you could call her. <clears throat> so she runs the shop on digital. We actually have some, like, equipment and potions and all that, but we don't have any money, so we can't buy anything from her. But, there is some cool stuff if we go behind the shop. There's a hidden door. And what is this? House parts! We got a residential island so we can get more Dimpamen in here. And if we go upstairs, we actually can get some lore, believe it or not. Okay, ignore that bookcase. That one has spoilery stuff for a new antenna skill. Month X, day Y. I went out with West again today. It was fun. I noticed Squelch the monster watching from the shadows. Maybe he wants to come along? I'll talk to him tomorrow. So, we basically read Crystal's diary, and, uh, Squatch seems to be getting jealous. Oh dear. I know how jealousy works in these types of games. It gets really bad. <laughs> but yeah, that's, those are cool little secrets that you can find behind the shop. You can get more, we can get room for more depth men, and we can get other stuff. Me, a dwarf, want me people from outside world. But me can't travel out to outside world. You find it said the Nymphaman 3 player, Street Pass. If pass, report to me. Me give jewels for passing. Same person, only once. 
Use Street Pass record none. From command, Street Pass activate recommend. So we can activate Street Pass right away. Let's do that. Activate Street Pass, yes. Activate Street Pass even after quitting the software. Street Pass will continue. Open the Street Pass list in the Y command. In Y command, Street Pass. That's awkwardly worded. It's information about other players. Use Street Pass enable wireless communication. If the game without saving after communicating through Street Pass, your Street Pass records will not be saved. So yeah, that's basically that's basically what you can do with Street Pass. But after this, that bit of a lengthy introduction, we can go in the first dungeon finally. That's also something new. And never to come back. Whenever you come back to Digital from a dungeon, or from a dungeon or something, or any other town that you visit along your travels, you can get automatically healed. Which is pretty nice. <coughs> Thankfully, you don't have to go in the house and save and stuff. And every town is basically like a free inn, so you don't have to pay anything to heal. So, yeps. Yups. What am I saying? Oh, we're in Squelch's cave. Me too. We got several pathways here. The map interface is quite cool. We got this guy in here. Yeah, for some reason they don't say the heroes' names. Probably, probably because they were crunched due to time and stuff. But anyway, hi. Thanks for always taking care of my daughter. Sure. Did you come to join me with a big? You're digging? It looked like you were washing your armpits. Ma, ma, been kidnapped. <laughs> only now you, only now you just realized. Oh no, how horrible! And I was just getting here. Well, I can't just stay here. We've got to save Crystal. Would you please take me with you? I were to join you. Yes. Yes, yeah, good choice. But actually, we won't have him in the party in this particular dungeon because, again, there's an enemy that Red Dead men are weak to in here, so we gotta watch out. It looks like your party's full. I'll get back to the house. Just switch me in with command. See ya. Okay. So we have Rick, and there's our first enemy. Um, dang, my computer fell asleep. <laughs> At least I know these, this one from Heart, Flower Moles. These are weak to like every element in the book, except for normal physical attacks. And their their noses are <laughs> twirly flowers, it's so cool. And if you look down here, the battle interface is actually quite different. You have go for conserve, you have different strategies, which is Go for it, which is like use physical attack skills. Conserve, use only physical attacks. Heal, use healing moves quickly. Defend, defend, use defensive moves. Pinch, use recovery items and attack. And that's basically it. And then we have run command, which we can run from battle, but it's probably not going to be very likely since we're the same level as these guys. But with that, have further do I think we're gonna conserve because none of us are you know down or anything so we're just gonna conserve ow poor, poor Kevin gotta watch everyone's health too cause some of these are fa some of these are faster ow yes we got a critical Might need to have Kevin heal himself. Tiny heal himself. And everyone else can serve. Well, that that didn't that happened. Wes is level two. Malachi is level two. Kevin is level two, and Hugo is level two. And we got 15 gold for defeating the Slarmals. We're just gonna go back. And heal quickly. I do not want Kevin to die. 
Go away from the flower mall. Get away, 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 get away. Of course, one cuts us off as we run away to some treasure. I might cut out some of the battles unless they're new enemies. For now, I'm just gonna eat these guys out of the way because I was close to a treasure chest. Also, we're suddenly faster than it because we're, you know, level. We got some more stuff. We got treasure chest up here. Potion! That should be very useful. Especially in a first dungeon like this. Another flower mole. That person, everyone leveled up to level 3! So now we're going back. Going up this pathway. Oh jeez! There's flower moles everywhere! I literally... But I also saw, like, another enemy that wandering around. Let's just get these guys out of the way. You can also use skills outside of battle. So you can tiny heal himself. Treasure chest. Vibe potion. You're too slow. You're too slow. I don't know why I said it like that. There's the other enemy I was talking about. Squirt Horse. This is obviously a water enemy and it's weak to electric. This is why I didn't bring any red nymphmen because red nymphmen are weak to water. Of course, you didn't have a choice because his hero was red. But whatever. Let's conserve. Poke. Poked it with its nose mouth thing. I don't know. At all. We got more gold. Okay. Really, the only place you can go is down. Also, purple mushrooms. Yay. Uh oh. We got some more powerful enemies here. In level four, we got a phantom foxer. Oh gosh, I forgot its weaknesses, but I think one of them is Wink. Weaknesses are light and wind. I don't have any of those elements, but I'll do what I can with without them. Uh oh. That's bad because people can fall asleep. Ow. That really hurt. And it sucks that our healer's asleep, but got through that pretty well. Alright. Um might want to go back upstairs. Oh no. I do not want to. That battle was leveled up to four. You gotta. It poked me in the butt. Why you poke me in the butt, Squirt Horse? Ow, that hurts! That really hurt. And the others are up to four. Oh dear. We really need to heal Wes, because Wes is like very weak. A round of AP for Tiny Heal. Which kind of stinks. Let's wait for this guy to move. Good thing these guys are slow. You can also save a start. So I'm going to do that right now. Yes, I'm going to save. Let's go back. I'll be right Go well. Yep, that happened. 
Yeah, that happened. Do we have a revive potion? Yes, oh thank goodness we do. Good, okay. We needed that revive potion. Good thing we had it. What we got here. No, 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 no. No flower mole. Screw you, flower mole. 300 gold, nice. Uh, I prefer to fight this guy, not the phantom foxer. And they appear with a squirt horse. Wonderful. The yellow dandelion seed. Awesome. Also, from that chest, we got 300 gold. I'm not going back down there to risk anything. Okay, where does this go? Treasure. Argyle. We, that's close equip. Argyle does what? Uh, increases defense by three. Who's got the least defense? 11, 16. It's Wes, so Wes is going to get that Argyle. Sweet. Okay. I really hope we don't run some more fan. Fa <laughs> as soon as I try and say it. Oh dear. Can I try and run, please? <sighs> Good. Good. I wanted to run away from those guys, because they are bad. They are a very, very bad. Ooh. HP need to be fully restored, I'll stand on this move. Can save and switch chaining our recovery point. So we're gonna save here. Now I wanna go back because I saw a treasure. Thank goodness there's a healing spot nearby though. Oh my gosh, really, you guys? Antenna power is good. That guy is not good. Especially when he appears with those guys. Go away. <sighs> Come on, why are you still here? Why are you still here, bruh? Bruh. These guys are out to get me. Okay, that was bullcrap. <laughs> Does that mean Wes is revived? Yes. Okay, good. I... That is like bull. Like, literal bull. I should not have to deal with you guys. Oh my god. Why are they out to get me? They're like literally everywhere. At least you're not that bad. These scored horses are easier to take out. Blue dandelion seed. That's good. If I can get through the rest of this, that'd be great. Cause there's one other pathway I'm seeing down here. It's just a treasure. Okay, sure. Power bracelet! Which... Increases attack, I think? Oops. Uh, equip. Okay, arm gear, power bracelet, attack up by three. Eight. Again, it's Wes. It's Wes who has the least attack. All right, let's let's go. Maybe we'll fight a couple more enemies, but I'm not sure. Crap. Why do you have to? Wait a minute! You're too slow! Crap. <laughs> I shouldn't taunt enemies, they taunt me back. I'm coming in groups of three, jeez. Okay, we got- oh, we got three level ups! Malachi's level five, Kevin's level five, Hugo's level five. And Wes is like... I don't know where he is. Crap. No. No. Getting out of here right now. Actually, let's fight you. Yeah, yeah, I get to move first. Sometimes the message, you'll get to move first, appears, and you get an extra turn to deal with all the enemies. Which is pretty convenient. Especially if the enemies are really, really cheap. There they go. 
and Wes is like pretty darn close to leveling up and I really want him to. Save here. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and Wes is now level 5. Everyone's level 5 now. So let's save real quick because I have a feeling we have something big ahead of us. And without further ado, let's go. Okay. Jeez. Quite a little pile of mud with the... the stalk of wheat on his head. What are you doing here? Uh, Gristle's not here anymore. I handed her over to Sleeky Serpent. If I hadn't bullshit, I would have been in big trouble. Not that there's anything to do with you. Anyway, I'm busy now. Go away! Sh shut up! It's not my fault! You don't know anything. Just scram and tenna face. Oh, burned! <laughs> okay. Defeat Squelch. Let's go! Thankfully, one of my different is resistant to his attacks. Um, Squelch with flower mold. Squelch is weak to wind. We don't have that element, otherwise this would be very easy. And he's got two flower moles with him. So I guess the best option to go for is to get those flower moles. Thankfully, Malachi... Thankfully, Malachi is actually resistant to Squelch's attacks. Okay, there goes one of the flower moles. That won't hurt. Going for the flower mole, and... Uh-oh. Ouch. Oof. Oof, we need to heal. Now we need to start him. Critical! We need that. We need a critical. Uh, who's the fastest? I keep forgetting. I don't think Kevin can heal himself. I don't think he'll be fast enough to do that. So... I'm gonna risk it and have Wes... use a... You know what, nah. It, I think it's better to go for the risk of Kevin... You know... Uh-oh. Yep, I had a feeling that will happen. The good thing that West has a skill that can revive people. Small revive him. Ow. So get get Kevin back in the action. All right. We'll have Kevin. It's a tiny heal on Hugo there. Uh oh. And of course that happens again. Come on, he's gotta be almost down. Uh, oh, shoot! I didn't mean to do that! Oh, at least Wes survived enough to do small revive. Come on. He's gotta be down. Uh oh. Oh dear. Come on! <laughs> at least he's using it on himself, I guess. Question mark. Uh, let's heal on Hugo. There we go. He's finally dead. Unfortunately, Wes didn't survive. Malachi is level 6. Kevin's level 6. Hugo's level 6. Got Muddy Emblem and two Yellow Dandelion Seeds. I love that jingle. You're pretty tough. I suppose you've had enough. <laughs> I 
Now don't worry about her. I'll try and get stronger and I'll rescue her while you sit there sucking your thumb. Awkward, awkward text. Dumb men don't have thumbs. They have nubs for hands. Now I've got things to do. D don't follow me. Great, they have a really rare treasure just to tease us. Sure, but first I want to heal. Because Wes died and stuff happened. Okay. Let's go in farther. And of course we can't go down here. Because it's blocked. Looking for another way might be a little awkward. We got a couple of different treasures here. Right of sex, so you can have six nymph men in our party now. Which is what the text just explained. I explained so you didn't have to read the text. And we have more house parts. Awesome. Fortunately, we can't go to where that treasure is. But... Hmm, we got a dwarf here. Me, a dwarf, searching. Me, this cave, drop something. Definitely near pink mushroom, maybe. Me and Pickle. Without that, other members in trouble. So... We're gonna look around these pink mushrooms here and found something. Oh, a little motion. Lost item. Okay, let's give it back to the dwarf. Hand it over the lost it. Oh, you find thing me drop. Thank you, thank you. Me give stamp card, get stamps. Shop give discounts. Me stamp card right away. You get the stamp card and one stamp. Other member of Dwarf Scouts around world, fine, get stamps. So we can save there. So we got a stamp card, which I guess is pretty useful for some things. There's like a little arrow telling us where to go. So convenient. So we're going back to Digital for right now. We got this guy here who suddenly came in. Hey, you live here? Me, wife, together, ran away, came here from West Continent. West Continent, scary eyes moved in. If go, must be prepared. So, this is technically where the demo ends for... Dimpman 3, we can't go by a boat to the west in the demo. But thankfully, since this is a playthrough of the full game, we can! Yay! <laughs> I guess while we can, let's talk to the girl here. On the way here, me see many islands. Rumor, fishing island, jewel shop, others nearby. Me won't go. Hmm, interesting. There's a lot of new mechanics that are going to be introduced in this series, and holy crap, I'm not sure if I'll have time for all of them. But, I believe this is a good place to stop. For now. Uh, before we do... Let's go into, I guess... I guess the switch thing. We can actually talk to the implement in the party. And get sleepy when we stop walking. Oh, he's falling asleep. Okay, hang on a second. Let me find a good menu to go on. Hang on one second.
And actually, while we're here... Oh, let's not do that. Um, you know what? Let's go here. Say cheese! You can actually take pictures in here with the L and R buttons, which is pretty cool. Just it really depends where you're taking pictures. I tried taking one in the party. I think you can still do that, but I need to figure out how to do that. And R. According to the dwarf at the port in Digital, there are some scary guys in the West Continent. Maybe they have something to do with Crystal. That's basically giving you hints as to where to go. But I think it's probably all that we're going to do in this episode. It's probably all we're going to do in this episode. So, this is it for now. Thank you all for your support. Like this video and comment on it if you wish. Click the red subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already to see more of my contents. If you're already subscribed, click on the little bell so you don't miss the video. Be sure to follow me on my Twitter for video and schedule updates. I also have a Discord server that's linked in the description. If you don't have a Discord account, it's totally free to join. And all that. So. Totally free to join Discord. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next part, Dempman 3. Zan the Game Girl signing off. Cannot believe that those Phantom Foxers were suddenly out to get me for no reason. I mean, why? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> but anyway, see you guys next time.